guys Ooh, behind me this is awkward <laughs> welcome back to my daily vlog so if you're new here hi <laughs> i'm ashley i'm documenting my fitness journey here on youtube and currently i am so close to getting out of 200 pounds i haven't been under 200 pounds since i was maybe like 18 or 19 or 20 or something and i'm so close to getting out from under 200 pounds i decided that i was going to daily vlog my way to wonderland i started it weighing 210 meaning i have 10 pounds to lose and if you don't know me i'm not a crash dieter if you're here and you're thinking oh i'm gonna watch this girl lose some weight because she about to just eat a boiled egg every day and the weight's gonna come off quick no 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 we don't do that here <laughs> we don't do that here i've been on a weight loss journey for a while like many of you guys honestly i was born no <laughs> i wasn't born overweight but <laughs> I was, you know, an unhealthy child, an overweight kid that just, you know, this has been my default state of existence. And it wasn't until much later in life where I started learning about just taking better care of my body, trying to even build up the strength to tackle the idea of change and thinking I could change. And it's been a lot of up and downs, a lot of trial and error, a lot of failures, but also a lot of success. And honestly, I want to say, I started my YouTube channel about five years ago and I know it's a long time right <laughs> but again more trial and error more failures and also some successes on my journey what I have found is one a love for health and fitness like nothing motivates me more than performing in the gym seeing my body get quicker and improve seeing my strength go up like I have truly fallen in love with this lifestyle of being fit and active and that motivates me more than anything. <laughs> and since that has happened, since that transition has happened, because I didn't always start off loving the gym. Like I really didn't. I feel like this is such a horrible place to be vlogging, but I'm walking to the gym right now and I said, oh my God, this is the first vlog back from my break. I need to like chat to you guys. So I love to work out. I love to be active. I love being healthy. And so I am not trying to lose weight by any means necessary. I'm trying to do this in a very sustainable very healthy way that still keeps me fueled so i can do what i love which is push myself in the gym so that's just what you need to know so if you about to watch these vlogs watch this journey and leave comments saying it actually you know if you just eat zero carbs you'll lose the weight quicker i don't care that might be true but my goal isn't just to lose weight and <laughs> That might be true, but my goal isn't to have a headache and not have the energy and not be able to work out. <laughs> I'm all about creating and building life-changing habits that can last me a lifetime. I said lifetime a lot. Anyway, so we're back. I took 10 days off just to refresh, recharge. I started the daily vlog around Christmas time, but there's so many holidays, so many party days, so many enjoying the food days, that it really doesn't feel like it really started until around January-ish, with me slowly taking it more seriously day by day. And I can't walk and talk, it's too awkward. Oh, what I'm trying to say basically is that I do have a weigh-in planned. Um, I basically plan to upload a weigh-in towards the end of this section of daily vlogs because I plan to have vlogs for another two to three weeks and then take another break before we're starting. Weigh-in to come in about two to three weeks time from the day you're watching this video. I'm excited for it but I'm also nervous but we still got a couple weeks so keep cleaning up my diet, keep hitting it hard. Um, we're gonna work out. I feel like sweating, talking about hitting it hard. I wanna do some hit work today. I wanna do some cardio work today. I wanna get my heart rate pumping today. Let's just hope we don't regret it tomorrow. <laughs> but okay, let's go.
back vlogging it feels so good okay so we are starting the second round of daily vlogs it should go the entire month of february and we're starting a little bit at the end of january but yeah after taking a bit of a break just to refresh recharge and just to tackle this all again so i already kind of covered this reintroduction um at the gym earlier and now here we are back home and i thought i would chat with you guys about the meal plan going forward if you will watch like the last segment of daily vlogs documenting my journey then y'all know i've been craving poke bowls i had said like at the end of like a vlog a couple days ago or so that um yeah i've been really wanting poke bowls so i decided this week we're going to make poke bowls work it's going to fit into the calories that we're doing and just the parameters I'm giving myself for this cut, which is pretty open. I like to keep things a little open-ended. I am cleaning up my diet more than usual um, as I'm trying to lose weight quicker in um, a shorter time frame than what I've typically done. So far, I'm around 40-ish pounds down from my heaviest and I'm just ready to lose the rest of this weight be it 40 pounds 50 pounds 60 pounds but i like to smoke this on small little goals and so my goal right now is just to drop the next 10 and we're daily vlogging until we do because we'll be out of the 200 pounds so anyway let's talk food for this week so one of the things i'm doing for the cut is sticking to the same meals five to six days out of the week i'm making sure that every day i'm eating between 14 and around 1750 to 1700 calories a day i like to provide a range 
because I'm really trying to learn to listen to my body. I'm really trying to just honor how I feel, notice what actual hunger feels like. And some days I'm just not that hungry and I don't wanna feel like I have to force myself, oh no, Ashley, you said you get 1700, eat 1700. Like, no, I wanna really learn to just listen to my body um, and see how it reacts to certain foods, fats, carbs, protein, all that kind of stuff. So I just give myself a range and I try to make sure I don't go too low and also of course that I don't go over <laughs> because I'm trying to lose weight. That's the goal, right? Um, so yeah, staying between that range of calories, also prioritizing my protein, eating 140 grams a day, which is, sorry, I just got a text. Okay. <laughs> Y'all will hear all about this soon. Trust me. Okay. Y'all will hear. I got this, this dude. Oh my God. You're gonna hear all about it anyway, but that's not what today's vlog is about. <laughs> Um, and so yeah, really trying to have a high protein, lower calorie diet, um, really just trying to make sure I'm eating good, nutritious, whole healthy foods, also value meals. Last week I did uh, coffee protein, um, a Mediterranean salad with chicken and halloumi cheese, and I'm forgetting what my other meal was, but I'll put it on the screen. And I was eating this the majority Throughout, I was eating this the majority of the time throughout the week, although I did still allow a little flexibility, had some snacks here and there. And week by week, I'm just trying to run a tighter ship and slowly make changes. Oh my gosh, the camera just died on me right in the middle of my sentence. Anyway, I changed the batteries and stuff and okay. So I don't remember exactly what I was saying. <laughs> so for this week, I'm doing more or less of the same as last, except just trying to be even more strict allow less flexibility and I'm staying to these foods five to six days out of the week really about six days out of the week and I try to allow myself like a, a refeed kind of day on the seventh where the calories are a bit more flexible they're a bit higher if I eat out with friends or something like it's all good I don't even really track but I still am definitely mindful of what I'm eating so let's bring up this app because I already know what I want to be eating this week I already went shopping to get the stuff for the poke bowl because that was already like that was already on the plan and poke bowls require so many different little things so i bought everything i need for that so this is how i am planning meals to in order to hit the calories i want to hit the protein i want to hit in order for me just to eat for my goals right um, I already have a day recorded where I've already kind of done this, but this is what I would typically do is I'll think of meals that I like and I'll just plug them in, play with the numbers, see how they all fit. Also making sure that it's like realistic. You know, I try to choose foods that I like to eat. And literally, well, let's just show. So I have a day here that's already pre-done. Um, with these numbers, I should be getting around 1500 calories, 1540, so 1600 calories. Like I said, some days it'll fluctuate because I'm gonna make these dishes every day, but the proportions that I'm gonna use might change. Maybe I'll use more meat, maybe I'll use less rice. I'm still gonna measure out day by day because it's gonna fluctuate a bit, but this is just an idea and the meals I plan to be eating six days out of the week this week, right? 174 carb, 149 protein, and 28 fat, this is low fat. Whereas last week with the chicken thighs I was eating and stuff, it was a really high fat week, right? This week is gonna be lower, so I'll see how I'm feeling. I'll see, you know, just, yeah, like how it's all going. So this is labeled as breakfast, even though I'm not, all, it's always gonna be my breakfast. <laughs> I do switch around meals. Maybe I'll have dinner for breakfast and breakfast for dinner, but this is just one of the meals, right? And it's going to be a spinach fruit smoothie. So we have banana, we got two servings of women's best protein powder, um, some frozen fruits, frozen berries, and frozen spinach. Works out to 450 calories, 53 grams of protein, 54 carbs, and three fat. That's gonna be one of my meals. Another one of the meals that I've planned to eat that I've seen this online before. It's I basically wanted to kind of do a quesadilla, but like a beefed up quesadilla. I wanted to add all the protein to it. And I like to add veg for extra volume. And I saw this idea online about using egg whites when you make a tortilla. So I kind of want to try that because I'm trying to beef up my protein, right? And hit my protein goal. So we're going to try that this week. Um... So I've measured out some cheese, some chicken breast, the egg whites, onion, spinach, tomato, and then the wraps. 
This meal will always be in the ballpark of around 470 calories. Um, high protein, lower carb, another lower fat meal. And then we have the meal that this whole thing was planned around, which is my poke bowl, because that was that was my craving from last week, right? So I got everything listed out in the amount that I plan to use, um, the prawns, the tuna, the rice, just everything. And this is gonna be one of my denser meals, um, 620 calories. 41 protein, 81 carb, 15 fat. I'm so excited for this poke bowl, okay? I've been craving ya, and now we fence to get ya. <laughs> so these are the meals that I'm planning to be eating this week, how I'm being mindful of staying in the range of my calories and also hitting my protein. I'm not paying attention to my carbs right now, I'm not paying attention to my fat, you know, um, that's that. <laughs> Um, like I said, day by day, it will change as, of course, every single day I make it, I won't always have the exact measurements. You can do that if you want, but I know myself, I know I'm not gonna do that. Sometimes I wanna add some avocado. Sometimes I might wanna add, you know, a little extra cheese. Like, it just really depends on how I'm feeling, what I'm craving, and of course, what works with my numbers. So, I'm excited for this week. I'm excited for these meals. I already done had that poke bowl, so I know it's good. And yeah, I'm gonna end the night off here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll just have a full day. You'll see all the meals. We'll hit the gym. Um, but yeah, Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be back daily vlogging all of this for you guys. Um, I do plan to do a weigh-in. I just, I think I'm gonna wait till the end of February, like to the end, towards the end of this batch of videos, mainly because, I mean, I started the daily vlog around Christmas time-ish. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot of holidays, you know? But I feel like I'm in the thick of it now. Like I feel like it's here, it's real. I haven't been on the scale not once yet. Can you believe it? <laughs> haven't been the scale for myself, even for my own knowledge, I haven't been on the scale. Um, but I'm sticking with the plan. I trust the plan. We will be getting on the scale towards the end of this month and doing some measurements because it's been a while. This should be fun. I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. Definitely happy to be back. Throw this video a like and yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow.